What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play today. I've got some more EU4. This is the Cradle of Civilization DLC. We're continuing as Brabant here. So last episode, we just trained up our troops or drilled our troops here slightly. Uh, I did acquire a two-star general, which was awesome news. We're getting ready to declare on Liege here, so let's go ahead and do it. They're going to call in Brunswick into the war, which is fine, because we're going to rush in here on Liege try to take them out first. Ooh, the lock did not work out properly there. Let's head on back up here to see if we can catch their army before Brunswick gets here. Awesome. Automatic sort of st uh, stack wipe there. I'm going to come down here, siege down the capital. Right? Perfect. And we need to grab Loon as well. Really quickly, hopefully the Brunswickian army does not make it in here before they can finish the siege. Still making really good money. Alright, good. Bring my general back here to the main siege. Alright. Excellent. So we're going to let that sort of finish out. We're already at 11% war score. Finishing up some new barks here to add to the navy. We do need to send them out on a protect trade mission again. We're going to go English Channel here for this fleet. We're going to make another secondary fleet that's going to help sort of uh, grab um, trade opportunities in other areas. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. Brunswick is part of the war, but I guess evidently having a hard time getting down here. France, we will give you military access, absolutely. Got some three stars generals running around as well. Okay, finally in the positive here for this siege. What's my inflation at? 0%. That's good to see. Golden era for the Ottomans. Okay, I can build improvements now. We're going to build the trade center in Antwerp there. Six trade power. That's going to be huge for us. All right, good. That's finished up. So, as we're grabbing this territory, it looks like France is moving in on Burgundy here. Obviously. Trade power here in the English Channel is looking like 18%. All right, the nobility loses 10 loyalty. We get a uh, Casus Belli on Gilles Ray. I'm actually going to... Uh, prestige, that would hurt. Let's take that one. Can't move in on Jelray necessarily. I think uh, Austria would protect them, or end up protecting them, rather. Alright, let's see what the uh, peace deal sort of looks like. Forty-seven aggressive expansion, that's heavy. Now, they would take this if we're able to take one little territory off of them. Twin, still 23 aggressive expansion, though. Annul their treaties with Brunswick. I want war reparations. Transfer me your trade power? No? Okay. How about ducats? Yeah. Okay, I think that's satisfactory for me for now. We'll attack the age again later. Well, let's just pick up that territory. Ah, France is then calling me in against Burgundy there. So let's make sure we have our provinces of interest put in. Yes, we do. Okay. So I'm going to run in and try to siege down Namur. We're going to accept here. Brittany, Flanders, Holland... Okay, we're accepting of that. Let's hit it down to speed three. I need to also core out here. And then, uh, ooh, okay. 
Let's try to get into this battle here. We're already being sieged down. This is the Flanders army. Ugh. Ouch. Okay, we're going to lose this. Retreat. Retreat. Okay, we lost there. Let's see if we can go regenerate the manpower here a bit. I need France to come up there and start wrecking house. Okay, let's put, build a church here as well. Quickly, regenerate, boys. Regenerate. Come on, France. Run away, run away. Let's go down to Limousine. Shit, they caught us. Now, I'm not sure if that ended up being a stack wipe or not. Let's see. It was. That's really disappointing. France, where are you? 51k in troops from the Allied forces. Somehow they lost that battle? Is that what I'm seeing? That's really weird. Uh, we can build another. That's going to result in 18.18 in income. Not going to build any of those with the current sieges that are going. He's trying to get this province back for himself right now. So he split his army between Armanac and uh, down south there. My castles are under siege, though, which is not good. Still making money, though. All right, here comes the French army now moving. Negative 8% war score. Hmm. This is going to have to improve here soon. Sooner rather than later. He's bringing his 20 stack upwards here now. As they continue to try to... Yeah, they've got a 22 stack sitting here between all of their allies. But 40,000 French troops over here for the time being. Yeah, continue sieging down Burgundy. Savoy now helping out in that area as well, so I'm guessing I'm sort of last in on the list in order to be able to help here. Ooh, that hurts opinion with Savoy quite a bit. Ten years, I'm going to have to take that. I don't want to hurt the alliance. My walls have fallen here in Limburg. Where are all of those French troops now? Support with the clergy. Let's support the clergy for now. Here they are, they're down here. It's like a 45 stack, 50 stack now. Come on up and help me. Quickly, quickly. War exhaustion getting high. Pound that down a bit. And then, yeah, let's go to level 5 here, which is going to give us... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to get men at arms. I think that's the best choice. You get some extra morale there for both offense and defense, so, so sort of your all-purpose troops there. Peace offered, never. The tide of the battles, the tide of the war is starting to change. Brittany's sort of at a low here, so hopefully they're gonna peace out soon. Lost a little bit of sailors there. Here we go, another battle down here, winning. Good, good. No, Brittany. My uh, war enthusiasm is currently low. And then there goes my final siege. France, please help. Savoy now, trying to take out Picanti. Picardi, rather. Picanti. That's like the salsa, I think. Keep it going, boys. Keep going. Rescue me. 
Rescue me. Okay, good. We've got sieges occurring down here in southern Burgundy. Uh, Brittany is about to be done, so that takes out some of the main players of the war here. Yeah, moving up to a 15% overall war score here for my alliance. I have to keep burning Diplo power here to make sure I survive this. All the enemy armies running to my areas there to sort of regain a bit. Okay, 12 stack for Provence, moving down this way. They're going to take out, uh, what is this, Schemborg? Charlet? Okay, good. Now they're heading north. Imperial reform just happened. Thirty-five and a half thousand men sitting on this area. So where's the rest of the armies? Okay, you've got a twelve stack here. They're moving to Hanut. Next. Okay, they're moving into Flanders next, actually. Come on, start sieging down my territory. There we go. I need to start getting a stack back. Manpower is sort of above where it needs to be, so that's good. So just waiting for these sieges to pop off. Good job, 21 stack there. Couple more castles coming in the mix. Let's meanwhile get to level five there. You can open up an idea group. I think I'm gonna take uh, quantity ideas, to help out that manpower. Decline. I'm not sieging it or seizing any territory. Two hundred and eleven in overall bankroll now. Getting that bankroll going. Okay, good. We had a rebellion pop up right on the enemy there. That's awesome. Got more sieges coming here for two of my castles. But that did stick the uh Burgundian army down here in Lorraine. Okay, it looks like they're going in for an attack there in the south. Good, good. Okay. Call for peace. Yeah, I know. But we're not giving up any land, so... You're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh man, did they have to start the sieges over over here? I think so. Nevers being sieged down. Oh my goodness, we got a province back. So Let's get a five stack going for now. I don't know. They might get wiped. The goal is going to be to get our territory back. So the call for peace hopefully goes away. Oh yeah, we want all of this nice army tradition stuff here. Uh, I think we just had a change in ruler. Yes, we did. So, 434. So, uh, same stats, which is great. The heir here. Hmm. Okay, 12 years old. We'll take a look at that when the time comes. Oh, did I just build a bunch of cav? Men at arms. There we go. 
There is a cav. Give you my general. Start standing on our own here. Oh god, they're attacking. And no one's gonna pull off the siege, are they? Son of a gun. What happened now? Okay, still have my ruler in there. Now we're at a negative two st stab, though. I need 107 here to boost it. So we'll just go ahead and wait. Not looking good. Come on, guys. Okay, good. Need to boost that one more time. Damn it. We've got that overextension that's paused there as well. Still collecting uh, new troops here. Two thousand men up here trying to help me. Eighty-seven percent war score. We actually won a battle for once. Great. Oh my god, negative three stab now. Uh, England now declares war on Burgundy. Interestingly enough. I've got a little bit of a three stack going here now. Lorraine's bringing me about 5,000 men. Okay, Brittany's trying to piece me out. We know the treaties with Provence. Wow, that's not a bad deal. I'm going to have to take it. We've got to repair the the country here. Okay. So that sends my allies down into other areas. Wow. Negative three stab. We have 75 available. We need 107 to boost this. War exhaustion is starting to burn down, too. So that's good. We're also... Uh, Okay, good. There. Five out of twelve, so let's build. Five more of you. Five more military units. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best choice here. Siding with the burgers. The cheeseburgers. Okay, we're about to core out as well, so that's going to take that overextension down for us. Boost the stability. Wow, what a what a mess. What a mess. Manpower still regenerating for us as well. Good. The overextension's finally over and done with. Clergy burgers. get that burnt off here immediately. Stab, we need 100. Tolerance of heretics, we'll do that. Stability cost modifier has gone down, so that gives us a little bit of a boost. We invest in a new military idea here, but I'm going to continue saving it up, and actually we're a little bit ahead of time. Just a teeny bit, so we're going to start investing in manpower growth. Do that. Up to 14,704 total for maximum manpower now. Infantry cost minus 10%. That's good. Missionary strength. I like it. Oh, and we can take uh, embrace a institution while we're at it. Take you. All right. 
Good. Now, waiting for another stab here. Possibly trade embargo here on the age. Let's uh, revoke that. Good. We're also going to turn off our forts. Boom. Okay, now in a negative one stab, so not awful, awful, awful yet. Wow, okay. Making crazy good money right now. This is great. Let's take a cav in and one more infantry. That gives us back. Oh, and we're also going to get a 13 space, so let's put in for another guy there. And we're going to need to have the manpower recharging after that. Alta allied with the Palatinate now. Let's uh, get our spy network going here to get that, that claim going for the capital. We're going to get war with England and such now, so... Still, we, we still would have to deal with junior partners. We're going to let that sort of come back up so we can get to Military Tech 6 and we can start building barracks. Getting that manpower adjusted. We're only gaining 116 per month right now, so that is taking quite a while. Uh, 76 here. England wants military access. Sure. Even though France probably wouldn't like that. Transfer trade power. I'm going to have to, for survival purposes. That sucks. But we do have a 13 stack. Looking good. Cool. Well, anyway, guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you guys next time.